This is question four of the integrals of trig functions. For my basic rule, I'm going to use the power rule again. u to the n du equals u to the n for the integral of u to the n du is u to the n plus 1 power divided by n plus 1, the new exponent, plus c. I'm going to rewrite this integral as in parentheses, cosine of x to the power of 1 ninth. So the exponent on the thing inside is the numerator. The index on the radical is the denominator. When we switch to fractional uh, exponent notation instead of radical notation, times sine of x dx. So we're going to use u substitution. So the thing that's inside another function, our u, is cosine of x. So du is the derivative of cosine times dx. And if we look at our derivative rule, the derivative of cosine is negative sine of u times u prime, but we're not using the chain rule version for this problem. So that's negative sine of x is the derivative then times dx. So we've almost got du here. The thing we're missing is a negative sign. So I'm going to put a negative sign out front, cosine of x to the 1 ninth power times negative sine of x dx. So this is now my u to the 1 ninth power and this is du. So we can rewrite this as negative, the integral of u to the 1 ninth du. We're going to add 1 to this exponent, so that gets me to u to the 10 ninths divided by 10 ninths plus c. Dividing with fractions is easy as pi. Flip the bottom and multiply. And then instead of saying u, I'm going to put in the thing that is u, which is cosine of x, to the 10 ninths power plus c. And we need a negative here and here. So we've got to carry that negative on through. So we'll go put that answer on. So fraction negative 9 over 10. And this is going to be parenthesis cosine of x, close the parenthesis, exponent, then 10 over 9 power, get out of the exponent, and plus c, check answer. Could we do that in the calculator? Absolutely. Shift plus, delete to get rid of the limits, and I'm going to go control rooftop to get the nth uh, root of then tab, put in cosine of x, get out of the radical, then put in sine of x, tab, dx, and we get negative 9 tenths cosine to the 10 ninths, and as always, the calculator doesn't put in the plus c for you. So that concludes this video.